everyone, how are we doing? Great, great. Well, I'm Charlotte and it is so exciting and an absolute honour to be able to share my story with you today. I don't know about you guys, but when my last day of college was over, I was like, DTI in my head. I, I absolutely love coming to DTI. The time with friends in tents, the silent disco. Who's excited for tonight? Yeah. And the worship, the talks, I love everything about it. However, there was one part of DTI that used to terrify me, it really scared me, and that was staying away from home. Um, I used to struggle with crippling separation anxiety. I was fearful that if I was away from my parents and my sister, that something terrible would happen to them, and I wouldn't be able to be there to help or stop it. This anxiety had such a powerful hold on me that sometimes I wouldn't even try and give it to God or ask for his peace because it meant that I would never have to leave my family and I would always be there if something bad happened. In my mind, the solution to my anxiety-ridden thoughts was to work hard to sustain and give in to the anxiety. For many of you, this may also be the case as it is much easier to allow anxiety to take over rather than use energy to battle it. You know, I skipped sleepovers, school trips, holidays with friends, just so I could sit at home and feed the anxious thoughts and give in to it. My parents tried to help me with numerous counselling sessions, but my mind just couldn't be changed. I was so certain that this was the way I was supposed to live my life, a life of fear and a life of anxiety. My wonderful dad often told me, it won't be like this forever. You won't have this anxiety for your whole life. But I didn't understand how I was supposed to get rid of it. I didn't want to get rid of it. I thought that that was how God had made me, and this was how I was going to feel for the rest of my life, so I just might as well get used to it. In 2018, my mum told me that she was going to be helping out with DTI so that I could go and enjoy the week and I wouldn't have to think about my anxiety. And during one of the services, I was praying with my youth leader, and she told me that she had an image of a feather trapped between two bricks. The feather was kind of struggling to break free, but eventually the bricks separated and the feather was free. Hearing her pray that over me sparked a little fire of hope in my chest that I would be able to get this anxiety away. I went through the rest of that weekend of DTI, fueling this little fire, but when I got home, my anxiety overpowered my heart and put out the hope that was inside of me. I went back to my old way of living, letting my anxiety control me and control my life. I'm sure that you guys can agree with me that it is so easy to go back to your familiar ways and return to a lifestyle that you're used to, no matter what it entails. Over the next couple of years, my anxiety only grew stronger and stronger diminishing any ounce of hope or freedom from this pain. My wonderful parents, they had a piece of scripture placed on their hearts, and it was Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. And it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Jesus. They repeatedly quoted this verse to me for two years, and slowly but surely, that fire of hope reignited. You know, gently over time, I began to realize that the way that I was living, sitting in this fear, was not God's best for me. God reminded me that this was not what he wanted for me. And after praying at church, at home, and talking to God, I made a choice to believe God and his word over my anxiety. I spoke with my parents and we decided that DTI 2022 was the best place for me to have my first night away from home with my newfound trust in God. This was, and I mean, this was a huge step for me. Five nights away on my um, first time away from home in a very long time was quite overwhelming. So we decided that I would do two nights at DTI one night at home, and then the last two nights back at DTI, just to kind of break it up a bit. Um, and I kind of realized that building a trust with anyone is a gradual process. 
you know, sometimes you take the small steps and sometimes you take the big steps. Um, for me, this was a way of stepping further into trusting God. Um, whilst at DTI, I had the most empowering and uplifting time. Of course, the anxiety hadn't completely gone away, and those thoughts would creep in, but when they would, I would speak God's truth over them and remind myself that God is here helping me overcome my fears. Something that was really on my heart when I was writing this talk was that you have to choose to walk with God. God is always there walking through life with you, but you have to choose to walk with him. Even if it isn't clear how God will help you in your struggles, it is much easier to find your way the closer you walk with him. You know, I, I prayed, I had counselling, but it wasn't until I decided to have faith in God and put my faith in him that I felt true freedom. So what about you guys? Are there lies that you often believe are true? What is holding you back from finding that freedom in God? Are you presenting your requests to God in prayer? Anxiety is, is a very complicated thing, and it comes in all shapes and all sizes. But God is a benevolent Father who is there every step of the way to guide and lead you to freedom. As it says in Philippians 4, 7, the peace of God will guard your heart and your mind. You just have to be willing to let him in.